Hello everyone, my name is STFU. I'm the voice behind the hands. It got a little tedious for me to write subtitles for every single video I've been making, hence the reason why I haven't been uploading in a while, so I decided to narrate instead. Today I will be sharing an ink drawing I did for my fashion illustration class. This assignment required us to utilize light and shadow using pens. I'll be showing you my process tear sheets from my sketchbook and tracing paper, so let's do this. The two photos here are my inspiration for my drawing. I found them on Pinterest and I'll link them in the description for you. This is a sketch of the model in the black dress. As much as I liked her pose, I didn't want to copy her entirely, so I borrowed a pose from the other photo. Here I have the basic sketch of the model pose with shadow sketched in. And then with tracing paper, I dressed up the figure with the black dress, pretty much mirroring it to place the action to the left side to show motion. After doing the initial pencil drawing, I started copying the figure over and over again in ink to try to figure out methods of filling in the garment. I was actually going a little crazy and shifted the shape of the figure by a lot as you can see in these tracings. So the process was taking way too much of my time, so I had the bright idea to scan a bare inked figure in my scanner and ink the garment from the copies that I made. So here I got Prismacolor pencils, which is what I use to do my drawings, and then I got all these. So I'll introduce them to you. So here I got the Prismacolor art pencils and these are pretty good for all your sketching needs and I like using the 3B pencil. Here we got the Sharpie chisel tip which I used to fill in the figure's garment. Unfortunately I didn't like this as much because one it stinks and two it kind of gives a purpley black color. And when I got Set up with my Sharpie, I ended up using this Japanese brush pen as my backup plan to fill in the rest of the garment and do anything else I needed. This is my mechanical pencil, it's Stedler brand, and I used this to draw in details on my drawings. And everyone loves micron pens, so I use these for the body details and some details in the face and the hair. So yeah, they're your best friends in fashion. And this is my Pentel Finito pen, sometimes I used it in the drawing as well. This is the Strathmore 11x14 drawing pad. I usually rub a soft pencil behind the winning tracing and then I rub it directly onto the drawing paper to get a ghost image and ink it. I also use Strathmore tracing paper, but it's a huge 19 by 24 tablet that I cut down into smaller pieces. I used that size for protecting larger scale graphic design projects back in the day, but you don't really need this size for this purpose, obviously. So this is my first time at drawing a fashion figure, and hopefully my next few drawings will get better and better as I post more videos. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day!